need a refreshing of the spirit everybody does every single day I know I do okay so I am just excited today it's a good day it's a good day and not every day is a good day so I'm glad that it's a good day today so I got on today because first of all I'm excited because we got a new iPad with room on it and I can use it strictly for videos because them other iPads man they be taking up we be having so much stuff on it it'd be all this space you know whatever that's ne neither here nor there today's video I wanted to talk about being a truth teller and I smile because we some liars y'all we some liars um I want to talk about being a truth teller because it's so important when you're walking with Jesus to tell the truth it's like one of the biggest things, right? To speak God's truth, first of all, but just to speak truth in general. Because so much of our lives and so much of what we see and what's portrayed, this is the um, Amazon Echo, and this thing is bomb, way better than Siri. Siri ain't got nothing on Alexa. Her name's Alexa. And um, she'll do whatever you want her to do. But anyway, what was I saying? So much of this walk is just dependent on being truthful. And I saw a post. Who posted that? Janae. Hey, Janae. She posted something about um, being truthful before God. So if you're truthful before God, then you'll be truthful before man because you have nothing to hide. And your identity is all in Christ. So you'll be truthful. If you can be truthful with God, you can be truthful with man. But here's here's the thing, right? So I struggle with, and sometimes I still struggle with this because I can be somewhat of a people pleaser because I just like to, I like people to feel good. I like to feel good, and I don't want nobody to be feeling bad. So sometimes I would lie to, like not even on purpose, not like a lie lie, but just you know, like trying to pacify somebody. And my mom is like that. I get that from her, and. It, it would just like roll out without me even realizing it. And I realized, especially when before, I realized that a lot of that was because I wasn't secure in who I was. What is this doing? And secure in God. So I would be more worried about what the person was thinking of me than what God is thinking of me. See, y'all be doing y'all be doing the most. my neighborhood like for example we walk around and we're like oh hey how you doing but we don't really want to know how the person is doing if you don't want to know how somebody's doing then maybe just don't ask how they doing <laughs> unless you really want to know how they're doing so we'll do that right and what if you're not really having a good day you got to discern right you got to discern who you should be talking to and who you should not be talking to because if you're not really having a good day sometimes you just got to be like you know what i'm not okay and that's okay i don't need to have like a whole conversation about it i'm just not okay today i bet you yo the truth will set you free because i bet you you say that to a person who, who doesn't who isn't really concerned with how you're doing and they like hey how you doing girl and you're like, you know what? I'm not okay. <laughs> it's like, unless it's a really close friend who really has concern for you, then most times they'll be caught off guard and they'll just be like, mm, okay. But really, it's it's more for you than it is for them. Like, to declare, you know what? I'm not okay today. I don't feel my best. But God is still good. God is still going to deliver me out of whatever situation I'm going through. And that's when you can really speak the word over your life and speak truth over your life because you come to terms with not being okay first. But if you're like, oh no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm 
I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. And you're not facing the fact that you're not okay. And especially people who battle with anxiety and depression and things like that. If you can't confront your issues head on, then it's difficult to deal with them because you're just constantly going to try to keep going and being like, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. And you're not okay. You need to deal with it with Jesus first and then go back to doing whatever you were doing. So then you can really in real life be okay. So... We all know the truth. The truth will set you free. Because Jesus, Jesus set everybody free. Amen. That's John 8, 32. And you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. So, don't... Learning to decipher truth from a lie. Because a lie can sound like the truth real quick. Even like when us, like when we're ministering to each other, like children of God it's so important to have truth in you but we are all I mean some of us are more mature in Christ than others I obviously am still learning but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna not speak about what I know about Jesus and what I know to be true about him in my life because I'm still I still love him and I and I still am going to speak out about him because there are people who don't know him at all so if you wait until you feel like you're completely ready. Like if God is telling you, speak out about me, about what I've done in your life or tell your story or whatever it is that he's telling you to do, do that. Don't be scared. Like I, I struggle with that even still. Like I'm like, oh, I'm not ready. I don't know enough. What if, what if, what if, what if? And at the same time, I'm burning on the inside. Like God, there's people who don't even know you at all. And I'm holding on to this truth that I have about you and this knowledge that I have about you. Because I don't I don't know what Susie Joe is gonna think because she's been following the Lord for seven years and uh, she ain't spoke out about you yet, but I know she's my sister in Christ. But so I'm not gonna do it. No, but God is telling you to do something. He ain't telling Susie Joe to do he's telling Susie Joe to go bake some cakes over there. He, he ain't telling you to do that. So just know just let deal with you and your walk and your journey. In Christ and not everybody else's and that's so hard to do because of social media and everything everybody loves Jesus everybody is uh, on their spiritual journey but the bottom line is whatever it is that you're called to do God will bring those things before you like I'm super excited to be uh, speaking at this purpose event that's coming up um, I'll put all the info in the description box but i'm so excited and this is an opportunity that god put before me like i didn't go out searching for this opportunity which i'd, I'd be doing that i'd be doing that and i'd be like sorry lord i know you told me to sit down but i'd be bored and that's not okay I'm, I'm saying it like it's okay but it's not but this particular opportunity and a couple other opportunities that i have coming up god literally was like here you go here you go you're finally ready for this because you gave up trying to do it yourself so just tell the truth there's so many true scriptures well this is good second timothy 2 25 says gently instruct those who oppose the truth Perhaps God will change those people's hearts and they will learn the truth. It took me a while to even want to accept truth. And sometimes, like my husband will speak certain truths to me and I'm like, mm, 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 no, not ready, not ready for that one. <laughs> so it is like the truth hurts, y'all. The truth hurts. So be gentle with people who don't understand truth or who don't want to receive truth because it's rough it's not something that i mean let me not say that because y'all take that in a whole different direction it's not rough because jesus is gentle the holy spirit is so gentle and loving but the truth hurts flesh because flesh doesn't want to hear truth <laughs> the greatest part about speaking truth is that when you speak your truth you, you free yourself from the bondage of being stuck in that. 
So what I mean is sometimes your truth is a lie. And I and that was actually my first time speaking. I spoke, what if your truth is a lie? Because a lot of people live in a lie thinking that it's the truth. Um, but that's a whole nother situation. But if you speak what you're going through, like for example, my last blog post was about me getting over anxiety to the level that I was dealing with it. Like I think we all deal with anxiety and to a certain extent like some just know how to shut it down better than others do but to the extent that I was dealing with it and I put the blog post in the description box um, I had to acknowledge that I had to acknowledge what I was going through in order to get over it but it didn't define me and sometimes like I put that blog post out and you know people like family and stuff they'll call me and be like oh my god are you okay like we were worried about you and I'm like girl I'm fine like it's, it's a victory like it's a victory that I did I didn't get stuck in that that I'm I'm fine that I'm okay call me and be like hey girl let's party together that's what's up God brought you out see that's what we have to do we have to start celebrating our victories with each other people of God like we gotta call each other and celebrate the fact that we're okay <laughs> Because you never know. You never know what somebody's mind frame is or what they're going through behind closed doors. So if you like don't don't let somebody put you back in your misery when you've come out of it. So if you can speak your truth, if you can speak what you've been through and what God has brought you out of, then nobody can put you back in that box because you know that you're past that. You know that God has brought me out. I'm not dealing with that situation anymore. I shut that down in the name of Jesus. I cast that out, whatever was going on, and we are no longer there anymore. So nobody can pity you back into that lie that you were dealing with. So yeah, another reason why truth is important. Yeah, so I just wanted to get on here and tell you guys don't be ashamed of what your truth is at the current moment whatever season you're in whatever you're doing be truthful be truthful on social media be truthful i lived oh my god i lived in a world of lies before i met jesus and it was exhausting to try to keep up with like you can't do it it's too much and i and i was in in this world in the middle of this world trying to keep up trying to like making videos and creating these extravagant backgrounds and meanwhile the rest of my house looked crazy but my my um background was nice and it just wasn't it's just it's so not necessary because god will take you butt naked sprawled out on the floor hair looking crazy now that doesn't mean you have to stay there but he will take you that way and he will mold you and create a beautiful thing. So just live it live in the truth that you have that you live in right now so that you can get to the next level and to the next level. And I'm and I minister to myself when I say that because I need to happily live in my truth as well. So that's it guys. I love you guys. I just I want to make videos and I've always enjoyed doing this and I'm just gonna still continue doing it so if you enjoy thumbs up and like it and if you don't sorry click on the next video and don't watch mine no more <laughs> and that's it bye